I'll be showing you Shopify Dawn theme speed optimization so you can ensure your store is loading quickly for your customers. Overall, Shopify's Dawn theme is optimized for speed, so we're not going to go into anything around compressing code or trying to rewrite any of that as that has been optimized already. Rather, I'll show you a few extra tips and tricks so we can speed up your store. So to start, we're going to use a site called GT Metrics. And so what you want to do is you're going to copy and paste your store URL in this URL bar at the bottom, and then you're going to click test your site. What GT Metrics is going to do, it's going to go through and analyze your site. It's going to look at quite a few different factors and it's going to give you an overall score on how your page is performing. Personally, I like this better than using Google's Page Speed Insights as it has some really nice detailed views. So this test store here, it doesn't have anything installed. It is password protected. And so it's going to get a really good overall grade. So I can see it's an A here. Performance is 100%. It's going to give you speed visualization. So it's going to show you how fast things are loading and when the customer can start interacting interacting with their website. So it's going to give you recommendations here, depending on what you have installed on your store. And so if you have a clean install, so you have no apps and really no images, it's going to load extremely fast. But when things start to slow down, it's going to be because of those two things. So a great view here is called waterfall. So if we go and click on that here, it's going to show you step by step what is being loaded on your site. So you can see the time, how long it's going to take to load and what's being loaded. So with this, you'll be able to find certain views or certain apps that are slowing things down. Nowadays, most Shopify apps are tested for speed and it's going to tell you that it's not going to have an impact on your store's speed before installing, but you can double check that here. You can see different packages that are loading. Maybe you've uninstalled an app and it wasn't a clean install and it still has some code that is loading. You can go and remove that once you know it's there. You can also see different errors. So I can see that there's no favicon here. So it's leading to a 404 error. So that's probably something I should go and fix. You can also see different images or videos that are taking a long time to load. And using a site such as GT Metrics is just going to make the overall process so much easier. So I just mentioned images there. So let's move into image optimization. And it's just going to be one of the largest files you'd be loading, either images or GIFs or videos. And those can really slow things down. There's just going to be more data to transfer. And the more data you have to transfer, the longer it's going to take to load. And so if you're trying to optimize one-off images, maybe it's your header image, you have some kind of banner image or anything like that, Tiny PNG is a great way to optimize it. It's completely free. All you have to do is drag and drop any file here. So if I just create a screenshot and I go and upload that screenshot, I can see that it's gone from 450 KB to 117 KB for a 74 percent decrease in the file size. And so it's going to do this without any loss of quality. So it's definitely something you should be doing for all your images. But if you have hundreds or thousands of products on your store, it's not really feasible to use a site such as Tiny PNG. Thankfully, there are tons of image compression apps available in the Shopify app store. One I've personally used is called Crush. I have no affiliation with it, but I have used it for my stores in the past. And it's basically going to go and optimize your images. It's going to download them off your store for you and then re-upload them. And so very little work is required on your End. It's also going to add things such as automatically renaming your image files and alt tags to add discovery in search engines. And it's going to be based on a size of your store or the number of images. So it's a completely free plan with 25 MB one time. And you're going to compress all your images only in this free plan. But as you move to the paid plans, you get more compression on a monthly basis. So overall, if you're not just a beginning store, it's just a few products, I would recommend using one of these Shopify apps. As again, images are quite large and you want to be optimizing them. There are also several free apps available in the Shopify app store that can help with speed. One of them is called Booster Page Speed Optimizer. It's going to help preload your website in the background. And it is completely free here, so it might be worth a test to install it and then use a site such as GT Metrics to see if there's any improvement in your store's speed. There's also RT Page Speed Booster. Again, it's completely free. It's going to tell your browser to use idle time to retrieve or prepare to retrieve page contents in anticipation of the next user's action. Overall, both of these apps have pretty good reviews at 4.7 stars and 4.8 stars, so they might be worth checking out to help boost your overall page speed. And again, they're both completely free. So this is going to conclude the video here on Dawn Aim Speed Optimization. So overall, all the two recommendations are to one, go to a site such as GT Metrics, enter in your URL, and you can find out what's slowing down your store. You can make optimizations from there. Secondly, it's to compress all your images. They can take up a lot of space when loading your website, so make sure they're all compressed to help speed up that loading process. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming up with new videos all the time so you don't want to miss out. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. 
That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations so you can understand how much money your store has made. It's going to give you tons of different details, metrics, and analytics so you can make smarter business decisions for your store. It's going to sync seamlessly with different ad accounts such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold integrations. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below where you can get access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.